Well, hello and welcome to this week's You Hack, We Hack webinar. Today, I'm Ricky Wheeler and I'm going to be talking about tracking B2B marketing ROI. And this is something that I am incredibly passionate about. And I'm hoping to share with you today all the things that I've learned over the last 10 years as a SaaS marketeer. So a short introduction to me. I've been in the SaaS marketing game for a long time. Um, in fact, when I began in SaaS, it was known as ASP. I recently became a certified pilot consultant, but I'm actually one of pilot's first UK customers and started using the tool about seven years ago. I've also been using Salesforce for quite a long time. So before I used Facebook, I was using Salesforce. And I'm happily married with four kids. So getting onto the subject of today, we all want their marketing dollars on the activities that generate revenue. Isn't that true? It's certainly true for me. It's not just about building the most effective marketing campaigns. As marketers, many of us need some concrete evidence to go to our CEO and say, hey, we need to spend 10,000 pounds doing this event, or we need to buy this software, or we need to do X, Y, and Z, and we need those stats to back up the arguments to be able to invest in the right marketing. Now, this is what we all want. We want to be able to look at every single marketing campaign, look at the costs, look at the leads generated, and see the opportunity value and how much business was won from those marketing activities. But the reality is, most of us, and believe me, I, I've worked with a lot of, of certainly tech companies, um, but, but many other organizations, and their marketing reporting looks more like this. There are many gaps, there are many holes, and the information held within this report doesn't even ring true. What is stopping us? What is stopping that all-important ROI for marketing? And for me, it really boils down to three things. I think there's an inconsistency around the way we track campaigns. I think that the definition of a campaign is very, very confusing, and that leads that leads to problems. I also think that there's data silos. I think there's information sitting in different systems that don't talk to each other. And anyone that works in B2B doesn't have the luxury of working in this world where someone kicks on a pay-per-click ad and they come through and they buy a product online and it's very, very easy to do full ROI reporting on the PPC. For most people in B2B, the, the sales people and the sales process get in the way of that leads coming in and the opportunity closing and we're really reliant on the salespeople to, to, to help us track and it often doesn't happen. Now, the good news is today I hope to help you overcome all of those problems. We're going to start off with how you can define your campaigns for reporting and in Salesforce and in Pilot so they all make sense. I'm going to take you through the differences between the campaigns in Pilot and Salesforce and, and the benefits of each. Then we're going to look at the way of automating campaigns between the product and sales source. And, and that section is really about how campaigns come alive, how we really, really drive the campaign section of sales source. Then I'm going to discuss, well, I'm going to show you actually how Evster have managed to really take the sales reps out of the equation when, when we're looking at accurately calculating ROI. And then I'm just going to share some of the things that I've learned over the past few years on, on how not to get caught out by, by information that, that may you may think it is actually true when it's not. So we start off with campaigns. 